Hello, I am Cleopatra Wallace and this video is for the collective as far as the Mars Rover Perseverance is concerned. Now today is February the 18th and the fifth rover landed on Mars a few hours ago. So this will be for the collective everyone's energy as a whole. So spirit, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, can you please show us the energy for the collective now can, as far as the rover is concerned? Alright, so we have the seven of coins and the knight of wands, which is to be expected. Seven of coins is working on something, a project, and you can see and this little wheelbarrow is kind of carrying some goodies and stuff back to base camp or wherever he's going with it. And that's kind of what we're all hoping is that the rover will be carrying some good samples and things back to us. And also the Knight of Wands is a bold moving energy going fast. He is all about the action. And as you can see, he's going over a bridge. He's going over a bridge here. Now, I hope the bridge that he is going over will be a bridge that will bridge the gap between the old thinking of how the stroller, the, um, not stroller, but how the astrological bodies work and the new way of how we think they work or just perhaps bridge the old with the new so we have a energy of working towards something and bridging gaps all right so let's clarify the seven of coins what is the seven of coins signifying here for the collective clarify the signal clarify the seven of coins for the collective What is it that we're working on? Alright, so we have the disillusionment card, which is a... I guess you could say like a, um, a naiveness or a lack of knowing something. Because disillusionment is... You know, like that grandeur, the 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 fantasy, like the romantic, the romanticizing of something is taken away. So we will be dealing with some reality. Hmm. All right, now let's clarify the Knight of Wands. That's very interesting that it will put it like that. We're going to be dealing with some reality. No more romanticizing Mars. Alright, now let's clarify the Knight of Wands for the collective as far as it concerns. The Mars Rover Perseverance. And I'm using the Nightmare Before Christmas cards because as we all know, Jack Skellington went into an alien world when he crossed over into the Christmas world. So, clarify the Knight of Wands for us in the collective as far as perseverance is concerned. Alright, we have the Magician, which in this deck is the older witch lady is teaching the younger one here. But what they're wanting me to pay attention and look at is this book that the younger one is standing on. And it has two bookmarks in it. So I am getting the idea that there will be two. See this book here, the two marks. There will be two noteworthy events concerning this rover two noteworthy convent events all right now let's move into another question 
Spirit, do you think we will see anything alive or living on Mars? Spirit, do you think we will see anything living on Mars as far as a plant, a animal, a humanoid, a Martian, an insect? Do you think we will see anything? All right, so this is the one that came out. These two came out too, but they were placed down. So that we're not counting those. But this one that came up immediately got my attention. Because I just asked if we will see anything alive. And so we get the emperor. And the emperor is about orchestrating or coordinating. So I don't know if that means that we will have some staged events. Or maybe some not so staged events. But also on this emperor card... Whether or not he's orchestrating all these other living creatures on here, you have to accept, you have to think about the question we just asked about living things. So we have a card with one, two, three, four, five, and if you include the emperor himself, six different living things on this card. So I think that will be a yes. We will be seeing something, something that has what I would call sentient movement when you can originate movement on your own. Like, you know how the sun is in your eyes and you move to get out of the way. If you can decide for yourself to move and get out of the way, I consider that like, you know, sentient being or living, not necessarily um, on a level as people, but perhaps maybe some bugs or something like that. All right, so let's go to another question. Now, it is a helicopter on with the perseverance. It's a helicopter known as Ingenuity Spirit. What will become of this helicopter? Will this be a fruitful advancement? Would this be end up to be one of the best ideas ever? What is the become of the helicopter Ingenuity? What of the helicopter ingenuity? Alright. So we have the Ace of Cups, which is a brand new cup of love. But that's not what I'm being drawn to. Something about the size of this canteen that he's holding. It seemed like if it was heavy, it would, um, doesn't it seem like this canteen is a little big for his hand? Like if it was all the way full, that would be hard to manage. Let's see what this has to do with the helicopter. Spirit, can you please clarify the Ace of Cups as far as the helicopter ingenuity is concerned? Clarify the Ace of Cups for us as far as the helicopter ingenuity is concerned. Oops. So we have one down and one up. So the one that's down is the mature man. And he is presenting his bounty. And it's a positive card because it has the two triangles at the top. And we have unusual good luck. And he also is carrying a rather big box. So maybe this big, I almost want to say, what's the word? Maybe this big, awkward thing could actually... Excuse my phone. Maybe this big awkward canteen could actually end up being a good thing because you can fill it with lots of bountiful things. So these are both positive things. So I would say that ingenuity is going to be worth its trouble. 
I don't know why I felt the need for me to say that. Ingenuity will be worth the trouble. Alright, so let's move on to another question. Let's ask what type of samples can we look forward to the rover bringing back? Spirit, what type of samples can we look forward to the rover bringing back? And for some reason they want me to shuffle these again. Spirit, what type of samples will the rover be bringing back for us on Earth? What type of samples can we look forward to? Alright. Ooh, the Nine of Swords. And I do see some things on his quilt. Alright, you see the um his blanket? They kind of look like little petri dishes to me. There's little pictures of things inside. So let's see if we can see what these are so one is a clover so that would be like some sort of plant and then one looks like it's like a statue or um, something made out of like a brick material so we have a vegetation a elemental and he has a red diamond. So that's another precious elemental. Yeah. So we're going to get some elemental items. And possible vegetation. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is still the Nine of Swords card. Which you can see is Sleepless Nights. So some of these samples, you know, may need to be quarantined or observed before they, like, are just set free or, you know, however. Let's be safe with the samples, people, okay? Alright, so let's get one more question just for the fun of it. We're going to now ask a loaded question because sometimes loaded questions give the best answers. So Spirit, now on today of February the 18th, how will this whole perseverance and ingenuity venture in for us, the humanity, the collective, back on earth? How will this end for us? Is this a good thing or will this end up being a very bad thing? Is this a good thing or is it a bad thing? Oh, I'm so nervous to see what it says. All right. Yep, the six of coins, which is a good thing. A community is the reciprocity card, which means, you know, the reaping and sowing. Everyone seems to be doing good at this table everyone's looks healthy to me and life goes on so this will be a good thing and I look forward to all the different samples and collections of whatever news the perseverance and ingenuity has to bring back for us so again I am Cleopatra Wallace and if you found this video interesting you can give it a thumbs up or you can subscribe to my channel because who knows what's going to happen next.